So let's take a look at the uh, how long it's going to take for these technos to unlock. 76 days for basic orbital, basic orbital rocketry. We've got the tracking station and we also have the launch pad. Obviously, this isn't like unlocking tech nodes. When you're upgrading each of your poison, you know, as in your points here, when you're unlocking any of the uh, upgrades for any of your, such as launch pad, the tracking station, VAB, they're actually being worked on simultaneously, unlike the tech nodes, which are done in a list, one by one. So it's not quite as bad as having to go through tech nodes. But it still takes quite a fair bit of time. So the tracking session is going to take 248 days and the launch pad is going to take 294 days. Now as you can see with this launcher right now, we're pretty close to 40 tons. So to actually get into orbit you need more than 40 tons. But, try and work through it. Alright, let's warp to finish. And we'll roll it out. This does weigh considerably more. So, 1st of July 1952. It's going to take 6 hours. 39 minutes and 18 seconds to roll out, so we'll start rolling out. Alright. 53 days now. Still 270 days for the launch pad that. Yeah, if you spend more points in the VAB you actually get to roll out things a lot quicker. It, de it decreases the amount of time. It's not just about build times, it's also about roll out times as well. Okay, let's go to the launch pad. <laughs> Okay. I'll stick SAS on. Just check this staging to make sure it's actually correct. Yeah, so we've got the ID. Yeah, that's fine. Decoupler, first ignition. It won't actually tell you. That's exactly what I'm talking about. When the VAB it doesn't actually let you click on this again, it will let you click on this. So if you actually unclick on it, as I leave it sort of hanging around without attaching it to something, you can actually click on it again. And it's exactly the same behaviour it's exhibiting right now. I can highlight it like that, but I can't highlight it by moving the mouse pointer of the actual decoupler. Decoupler and final ignition. I forgot the other antennas. But it should be okay. We've got enough sort of range without an antenna. It's just in case I get a failure on the antenna that's built in. That's the reason why I did the other two. Alright, so I'm on full throttle. I won't try talking over the top of this launch because it's going to make far too much noise. Okay, so. Do the same thing, I'm going to pitch it, pull it up, push it up a little bit. It will actually help because of the character of the Earth. As the, as the Earth falls away, you actually gain altitude faster. But not as much as obviously the last one. I was going to see how much Delta V I can get out of this. Okay, so, three, two, 
This console actually locked to orbital prograde. It does not track the actual surface prograde. That's possibly what was causing the problem before. Right. I don't think I will work. I'll decouple now. Then ignite at 2.50. I'm going to lose too much Delta V if I do it. Six thousand five hundred Delta V or thereabouts. And what altitude did we get? No, only four thousand. Yeah, it's the extra weight of the SRBs. I'm moving slightly off prograde. So it's not exactly dead centre either. Saying that, and we do have the larger SRB, the larger baby sergeant, but is it really worth trying to use it? Because that Delta V is nowhere near as good as the, well, the altitude is nowhere near as good either. We are not going to reach this 4,600. Let's 
So we're above 4,600. Oh, it's only 600 kilometres short, so. Ah, oh, well. It's worth a try. I said the most effective way of actually circularizing an orbit, or least getting to orbit, is to actually burn at this point. But with a sounding rocket, you're actually losing delta V. So by the time I get up to there, you'll have lost more delta V than you've actually gained by burning at that point. So it's not much use. Oh. Well. Yeah, it's a lot more heavy. This one's a lot heavier. And also, from what I can tell, these are as made as well as they should be able to be. Not made as highly, to, not as high quality when it comes to the actual nozzle section, which is where you've got it wandering off. It's absolutely spot in the middle, and there's the centre of mass and everything is actually where it should be, but as you get higher in quality SRBs, you start to gain a little bit more sort of reliability and stability. Alright, well there's nothing else to do. It's not going to break that contract. I'm certainly not going to get any more information out of it when it comes to telemetry. No. Okay, let's head back. So that was a... That was a failure. Well, not exactly a failure. Right, let's head back to Space Centre. So that was an example. Earlier on, you'd have got better performance compared to liquid stages, but obviously the, the sandy rocket is so light. It's got a lot of power, a lot of delta V for its size. But carrying any type of payload, it will not be able to, will be sufficient for carrying a satellite into orbit. Okay, let's go and see. Oh, yeah. So I've got 66 days for that, so that's not a problem. So let's take another... Let's be the last one I do. What would the last time I take satellite... Uh, yeah, satellite, I mean, what would the last sounding rocket contract I take? Because it's actually quite handy. Both of them. They're both quite handy for sort of helping to pay for a launcher while developing orbital rockets. Oh, so I'll yeah. take the other one. I've got two. I've got the original high one, which is 4.6 km, thousand kilometers. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking uh -huh. 70 kilometers as well. So right, I'm gonna do away with the uh, baby sergeant. Let's delete that one off. I can with the uh... yeah. I'll complete these two contracts and then I'll do another sounding rocket. And I'll see how far I can get laterally by burning actually at the prograde node itself when I actually reach there with the second stage. So let's go to the rear bit. Right. Let's do it with this one. What I'll do is I'll load Sonic Rocket S 6A. But I do want it to be pretty level. Not like that. That's it. Looks like it. Mm, yeah, that's level. I'm going to send this as 6B. I want to do something to it. So I'm going to overwrite the other one. Now, so I've got 7.7 .7 second burn, which is the image stage. That's not important. I mean, that's a little bit of delta V. I can't quite tell how much though. 1751. That's not bad. Now, I could increase the burn time 
for that. I could increase the burn time. What's wrong with any of this lot though still? It's going to be on the um, action menus. Because I don't trust the actual space bar sort of system, the, you know, the actual staging. I don't trust it. Like I said before, when I've used this before, I've, I've left it auto decoupled. It's decoupled from the top before it's actually started the eulage and it's twisted the entire thing over and fight off in the wrong direction. It's probably just something I've done, but I'd rather not take the risk. There's no reason to talk, take the risk anyway. It's not like I'm using a ton of the, uh, the actual stages anyway, the actual action menu. Slots. There's ten slots. I'm only using two, so leaves me with another eight. Alright, engine scale. I don't want to go stupid with the engine scale though. So I've got thrust limiter. If we can bring that down to about 50%, that gives us a 15.4 second burn. If I increase the engine scale, that increases. If I actually let me move it, can you let me move that up? No. Mm. So I increase it to 1.42. Should I actually went down? See on here, 1.73. That's well, because it's weighing more. 1.25, 1.42. Don't thrust away your ratio on that stage. No, it isn't. It's 10.07. Now the thing is, it's going to give you the wrong figures because this is in the wrong place. If I just put it down to where it should be. Gives the proper figures now, because I've got to put that back up, so I don't want it to decouple before I ignite this. So I want 15.4 seconds gives us 156 delta V, and gives us 1446 delta V. Press it again. Because there's only 2000 delta V, and yet it's still only adding a tiny amount up here. That's because it's decoupling. Even though it shouldn't really be doing it. So I would say it's close to 10,000 delta V in real figures with a 15.4 second burn. But if that was still attached, it'll only give you a 0.87 on the actual liquid stage, but obviously this is not going to be attached to this when it's burning the motor. Only for maybe a second or two until I decouple this. I'm going to save that. Yes, I'm going to overwrite it, thank you. Oh dear me. Okay. I think it seems to be okay. Let's put the delta V down on this though as well. But of course the delta V inside the atmosphere is going to get sucked away anyway. It's going to get depleted a lot faster because we're inside the atmosphere. So we've got all that. It's actually best to increase delta V outside of the atmosphere. One shot outside. Vacuum. So. That's 27 days, 23 hours, 43 minutes and 12 seconds. I can about 37 tons. So this does actually weigh more than the other. What should this actually weigh? That's 1.5 tons. Yeah, it's probably because I've added this. I've added some sort of. Well, I've added larger Eulid motors for starters. But the actual structure increased in size as well, so. Alright, this will be the last one of the sounding rockets, well the, the actual sort of basic sounding rockets, the next mission will be trying to get to orbit, let me see how this goes, so I'll burn at the node itself, if it looks like I'm going to make it to orbit I'm going to cut the motor on this sounding rocket section, I don't want to make it to orbit without having an actual payload on board, 
but that will mean they're completely la well, a larger second stage and probably increasing the size of the first stage as well okay let's go ahead and build it all right let's build it roll it out and head to the launch pad Yeah, so we're just on the brink of reaching the 40 ton limit. And it's going to have to be a considerably over the 40 tons in order to get to work with any decent payload. And I don't want to go sort of preempting the contract without actually taking it. So if this looks like it's going to get to orbit, I'm going to cut the motor before it does. So we need to get a payload to orbit. So that's seven hours. 36 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's roll this out. We're quite late in the year. Uh, yes, yeah, late in. I want to launch anyway. Once we get above a certain altitude, it'll be fine. It'll brighten up a little bit. It'll be enough to be able to see. Not that we need to see anything anyway. So let's go to the launch pad. Yes, it's a little bit darker than usual. It's not exactly, it's not night time. So I need to turn the camera a bit better than that. Okay, I'm going to put the SS on. But once we are, I'll switch to this. I'll switch to the remote tech console. Yeah, once we get to a certain altitude, we'll be being full daylight again. So I'll leave the map where it is. Alright. So I'm going to wait until this second stage. I'm going to bring it to try and get the nose down to the to the horizon, to down to the horizon as quickly as possible. Once I get above like 30, 40 kilometers, I'll bring it down as close to the horizon as I dare. Touch the horizon, and hopefully this will still be at the horizon or somewhere close to it. But see, I can't alter this, and I can't put the nose down while it's while the first stage is still burning because that would completely nullify why I want so much delta V on this first stage in the first place. So I will try keep it. To the horizon as I can. What the devil is that? Hey, man. So, three, two, one. <laughs>
obviously it will wander off pitch because, as I keep saying, the capture of the Earth. But that isn't what's going on, is it? No. It's like it's bouncing back towards the node. Damn. Yeah, it's going back towards the orbital and prograde node. It's nowhere near as far as it the last sort of attempt wasn't either. Damn. Let's just walk forward a little bit. Still wandering off slightly. Alright, let's decouple them, ignite the fair uh, deolage stage. Maybe we'll turn that off, there's no point having that on now. So three, two, full throttle on. Thousand one hundred and sixteen kilometers, though. That's all because I couldn't keep the nose on the horizon. That's almost there, though. Obviously, I mean, the little payload on it. There's no way this would reach out with the payload, even if I was managed, even if I did manage to sort of keep it. But with no actual gimbling on this second stage, there's no way you can achieve it. You won't be able to achieve orbit with any sort of weight. You've got to have some control. But that's not bad. It's not bad for what is effectively a little sounding rocket that you could build in your own shed. Your own garden shed. Right. Obviously that's the first one. We haven't, we haven't achieved the second one, the second contract. So I do need to complete that, I don't want to lose money. And also I don't mind being able to achieve 9 kilometers a second as well, that'll be another chunk of money. Not much, but it'll help. So 4,600 plus. So I'll go and finish, so we'll finish this contract off. See if I can get to 9 kilometers a second using this again, but vertically. Well, close to vertical. By 85 degrees. 
got three now. So I just want to leave them unlocked. Just so I can see how much electric charge. I don't think we'll have enough electric charge to be able to get any assigns. But I might be wrong. So not yet, but... Let's bomb out. I'm on the dark side of the planet though. We'll come back before we enter the Earth's atmosphere and probably burn up in the atmosphere. In fact most it will definitely burn up in the atmosphere obviously. Right, so walk forward. Just a little bit. Let's just see if I can just I don't think I'm gonna reach No. So that's past destroyed. I'll go back and see if there's any signs. No, no signs, there's nothing at all. Oh well. It's worth a try. That's almost an orbit though. Good. Sounds like somewhere of Australia the thing's going to burn up. So that's one hour, twelve minutes. One hour thirteen. One hour fifteen, isn't it? They're about coming down to just just about to touch the atmosphere. One minute sixteen. Just now, one minute sixteen point four. So one minute sixteen forty seconds. But it's definitely going to be somewhere across along this line. So, went all the way to Australia. So, I could arrange for ICBM. Obviously, like I said, there's no payload on this, there's nothing, there's no weight there. It's just the avionics package with a couple of science experiments on it. of Australia. Where was we? Just over... Yeah, about the middle of Australia. Slightly, slightly west of the centre. Because when it blends up in the atmosphere, it's not just like what the, that's what actually happens because it's pretending there's something else there. So you have to manually sort of get out. kilometers from KSC. Okay, right. Let's head back. And I need to complete that sounding rocket contract. So I'll take another sound I'll take on the medium sounding rocket contracts of every three hundred, four hundred kilometers. And then we'll go vertical with this exactly the same launcher, just build another one. Exactly the same. And complete the two contracts. 
then I can then we can start trying to develop an orbital launcher. But I'll still take some sounding rocket contracts, especially the lower ones, because that will help pay for the launcher, like I said. Okay, let's head back. <laughs> 